2020 has been designated the first ever Year of the Nurse and the Midwife by the World Health Organization. This gives us a unique opportunity to propel nursing and midwifery into the spotlight and onto the agenda of governments globally. That's why Nursing Now is launching the Nightingale Challenge to enable the next generation of nurses and midwives to play a bigger role in multidisciplinary teams working together to improve health and influence policy. Well, for South Africa and as the NOSA, the Nursing Now campaign is very important, it's pivotal for us to make a case and for us to advocate for nurses and midwives because we want to see change and we want a high number of nurses, highly qualified, well-grounded organic intellectuals who will be able to service our communities and society. So as the NOSA, we accept the Nigel Gale Challenge. We want to advocate and capacitate a large number of nurses to an extent that we'll be able to sit comfortably and say, we have leaders who are going to bring change in the nursing fraternity in South Africa. But also we are part of the nurses of the world. Hence we want to campaign that every country must accept the nursing now, campaign itself, but also accept the 19 Gale challenge of capacitating nurses of the world, but particularly the young ones. Nursing today, I think it's, it's more demanding and uh, needs more young people and needs uh, government to employ more nurses so that we can uh, work together. And because in South Africa we have so much people coming to our country, um, I think the hospitals that were built back in the days are not enough for, for us to practice nursing in. So now communities don't understand that. We as nurses, we understand that and uh, we need resources. And what makes me feel special about being a nurse is being able to treat a patient. You know that feeling that you get as a nurse when you've seen a patient come into your ward or clinic and they're not feeling well and you nurse that patient for a day or two and you see them regain their strength and the moment they leave the ward there's this feeling of satisfaction or I don't know how to explain it in words but the fact that that patient came to life again it was because of the 2% or 5% effort that you did for the patient that what makes it special for me. I got into nursing at a young age to make a difference and this profession is filled with so many rewarding things due to the direct positive change that you can make with your hands and you can cause in the world. So the more that nurses take leadership roles, the more that we can change this misconception surrounding our profession and I am willing to start the change. The Nightingale Challenge aims to benefit at least 20,000 young nurses and midwives in 2020. We're doing this by challenging 1,000 nursing and midwifery employers to provide leadership and development training. This can be through formal courses, mentoring, shadowing, or learning from other professionals or sources. Nursing today is so challenging because nurses are no longer being respected by the community. The community attacks us even though we give them total patient care, they don't even care whether we are short staff or not. Even though we can explain that uh, we are short staff, we are going to, to see you all, but they don't, they don't care. But there are still those 10% of the community that still respect nurses. I think maybe in future, if our country can be made aware that nurses are the ones who take care of their health so that they can protect us. And on what makes me special about being a nurse is that uh, I know I can provide quality patient care, I can diagnose, I can prescribe without um, the assistant of doctors. That's what nurse clinicians are doing, and even to bring lives to death. It's an organization, uh, the Democratic Nursing Organization of South Africa, we are very excited that we are part of the Nursing Now campaign. And it, it, it comes at a time, an appropriate time, when as a profession we have an introspection of ourselves, analyzing the challenges we are facing as a profession, and then and looking at empowering nurses, especially the young ones, to develop the leadership 
of today and going forward as we're looking forward to embracing the year of the nurse 2020. Eu gosto de uma definição que define um líder como aquele que tem a capacidade de motivar, dirigir e empoderar um grupo na direção de um objetivo é, socialmente relevante. Não são é, simplesmente um, um aprendizado possível de ser feito em sala de aula. Eles são uma arte porque envolvem essencialmente a capacidade de trazer um grupo de pessoas de uma determinada direção. During the challenge, Nursing Now will provide support and coordination and opportunities for organizations, nurses and midwives to connect with others around the world. But it's up to individual organizations to decide the best way to meet the challenge head on. Nurses and midwives are vital to achieving universal health coverage and the sustainable development goals on health, gender equality and poverty alleviation. We must do more to attract and retain young people into these professions. My message to employers is a simple one. Invest in the leadership potential of the next generation of nurses and midwives, and they will change the world. Many employers, large and small, have signed up already, and many more are registering every week. Let's make 2020 the year we invest in a new generation of nurse and midwife leaders. Sign up and accept the Nightingale Challenge today.